Hey y'all, it's Michael, and for the next short story <laughs> collection that I'm going to be reading is Big Woods, The Hunting Stories by William Faulkner. Now, if you saw the previous video, I'm not exactly sure if these are short stories because there's only four in here, and I think it's one of those things where it's like short stories combine to make a longer story, um, and like they connect in somehow or whatnot. I don't know, so... <laughs> As I mentioned in my previous video and what I'm trying to do this whole year is I'm trying to read a short story every single day um, and these are pretty long so I might have to break these up into two days because I make I have a spreadsheet where I keep track of like all the short stories and the collections that I'm reading. After each and every single short story I'll let y'all know what I think about it overall. Um, this video might be a little bit stretched out compared to my other ones where I'm like going like this uh, because I'll have more to talk about since the stories are much longer. So yeah, let's go. So I read the first short story on here called The Bear. Now, there's a little bit, I don't know how it's supposed to flow exactly, as in um, there seems to be like a little section before and after this short story. Well, it's more like a novella almost because it's, it's pretty long. So I don't know if those tie in, but we'll, I'll figure it out by the end of the collection. It's about a character named Isaac. He's like, mainly he's referred to as, referred to as the boy. and. It seems as though like these stories um, are definitely going to be about hunting and I don't know if the other short stories within the rest of the collection is just about these characters um, so we'll see how it goes I don't I don't know yet. We're hunting for a bear called um, the Old Ben who basically is like elusive almost and then um, there's also a dog you know I one of my favorite things in um, literature in general is like I just love dogs I love dogs in general like bullet bullet Okay, he's not paying attention. Now this short story I really did like. It is pretty long. Um, and also I do have to mention that I have never actually read a full-on Faulkner. Like I've attempted before, like attempt to read his stories, but I never actually, like beginning to end, I never actually finished one of his stories. And so this is my first time getting the experience of it. And I really liked it. I talk about this in a lot of my videos about this cadence, this rhythm that a lot of like great writers have. And it starts to become like this thing where this beat, this rhythm, this like t -t 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 -t, you can really like I start to tell like it's like I almost hear it in my head. But one thing that I really do like that he does um, and not a lot of writers can do it well, some attempt but <laughs> here he writes long sentences like run on sentences like it just goes and goes and goes and here's the thing when I read it feels like almost like I'm running in my mind like the way I'm saying it so like when I read a really long sentences like the the hyphens the commas really do give me a break and here he has like this rhythm to it that it really as a reader it keeps me really engaged like I'm I'm trying to like catch up to him like that if that makes any sense but I really do love the way he writes these long sentences and the way that he encapsulates this it's I, I don't know if mood is the right word but he encapsulates this ambiance about it like it's it's really weird and he chose to describe things um like differently than but I've seen, read from and other authors. The one thing though is like this was really weird because there was this moment in here um, and it does tie into the, the I guess the introduction of this in Mississippi is this thing with um, like slavery and um, about uh, like how the white people came to America. It was it felt a little bit like whoa what what I mean I thought it was insightful but I was just like whoa this is it felt jarring because during that moment they were like hunting I was like okay that's that's different. Right, so I finished reading um, the next short story in here called The Old People. Um, I This connects actually to the previous um, first story, so it looks like everything's going to be connecting. Um, this one deals with another character, um, Isaac's um, essentially mentor, uh, Sam Fathers, and like the relationship between like what happened. So now, this is really interesting because it doesn't... Like, yes, it connects, but... First, let me tell you a, a little bit of the issues that I have as a standalone, um, like as a standalone short story, I could see myself getting confused if I didn't read the first short story. So yeah, and it, this is also a personal thing for me is that um, sometimes when there's a lot of characters and then the way that Faulkner is describing how each character is related to like each person, for me, it got a little bit confusing. I was like, wait, whoa, whoa, slow down there. Even I was like, whoa, okay, hold on. But after I got past that, I thought this was really 
good. I really liked it. It's different in the first short story because it has a different style to it. That, if that makes any sense, it it feels very similar to like writing style to the first short story, but it has this different vibe to it. This much older essence to it, and I guess you could say that because since um Isaac, we're following him in the first short story here. Since Sam father is um. I always want to say father Sam, Sam, because I'm thinking he's a priest, but he's not. Is that he? He's like a little bit. He's more mature and he's older, so it has a different vibe. But it's it's really weird. Right, so I finished the next short story called A Bear Hunt. Um, this one was actually really interesting, and I think it's my favorite so far from. Uh, the, well, there's only three, but yeah, I I really really like this one. This one's about Ratcliffe. Now this is one is interesting. First of all, because it's actually like a jump into the future, um, in the timeline in comparison to like the actual first short story so and the last story well i was like oh this is really cool and this has a really different vibe to it um while the previous two short stories has more of these like um like melancholy calmish vibe to it um well unless when it starts to get violent because like <laughs> there is really violent like there's even a part in the first short story where like the entrails of the body of the animal was, I was like, okay, this is a lot. Just halfway through the story, like there's a break, um, since we're following Radcliffe and it's almost like first person, which is different because it changes, um, perspectives and it's, it's written in the vernacular that they speak and it's, it's like the dialogue and the dialect like changes. I don't know, I'm, I live in Georgia and so I'm used to reading that type of Southern sl well, country slang, like I can, I can read it pretty well. So it was, I didn't have a problem with that, but I was like, oh, this is really cool because I could hear it like they, like the way they say it, like IT has a hit H to it. So it sounds like hit, like it's, it's, I was like, oh, this is really cool. It's a lighter tone to it. And the way time is perceived throughout the short story, I was like, oh, this is really cool. And this st short story in particular can actually serve as a standalone short story. Like it actually just works um, by itself. This also tells about um a relationship with uh the native americans during this time and so i was like oh okay and since faulkner wrote this um i guess during in his time he um he he doesn't call them native americans and stuff but yeah i was like oh this is okay it's really i thought it was really good like i i was genuinely surprised by the tone and the tone shift and just the perspective basically there's a hiccup storyline in here about like getting rid of hiccups and i thought that was funny until you find out what really happens it was like oh i wonder if we're gonna get a like a perspective on that because while there's only four short stories in here it almost seems like a, like a cinematic universe like <laughs> the mc like the marvel um comics universe like i was like oh but written by faulkner so i'm wondering if like while there's only four short stories in here i wonder if he wrote more than these and like they just they just basically are at the center, like Isaac is the center of everything and it just branches off. Alright, I finished the last short story on here called Race at Morning. Um, this one was really interesting, especially the writing style. Uh, but this is about a little boy, I think he's 12, yeah, he's 12 years old and he's basically hunting. <laughs> That's it, like, basically has like a father figure named Mr. Ernest who is like, teaching him and whatnot, but he's, um, the little boy is also helping him because Mr. Ernest has a hard time seeing. Them basically trying to, um, hunt a, a buck. Compared to the first short story, this is also in the future different because in the first one, they're hunting old Ben, which is like a bear, and here they're hunting a buck, um, a deer, and, uh, and a doe. <laughs> but yeah, I really liked it. Now, it's written in, like, straight up, like, since we're following, um, the boy's uh, he's basically the main character because we're following him and it's written in a way where very southern vernacular uh, So I was like, oh, I liked it. I kind of want to see the last because there's on here There's a like there are these like ending parts. They're like written in italics and it's it basically ties in the stories together and so I want before I Reserve my I want to reserve my opinions before I read this last part because I want to see how um, The tie-in if you hear a lot of dogs barking and a lot of boom boom noises It's not the military. It's thunder and lightning. So I just finished big woods the hunting stories by William Faulkner and <sighs> Y'all this was really good and I am so happy that I waited until um, to give my final thoughts because the last so Let's slow it down. The last little section of this is so beautiful. Like, it is just gorgeously, gorgeously written. It is, it's 
Now, I know it's not, the short, it's not technically a short story in here, but it is so beautiful. It ties up everything so beautiful. And just the way it reminisce about like the past. Oh my God, yeah, this is so good. I swear this dog. So there's a lot of, thematically wise, this is so strong and you can literally dissect, dissect all the stories in here. This whole thing you can actually dissect. Um, but I wanted to talk about two things that really stood out for me uh, personally. So first off, I wanna talk about this, the flow of time and how Faulkner um, talks about time within all the short stories. I thought it was stupendous because it's also the second thing I wanna talk tie in about and it made me really think about it because I recently just saw Endgame. Okay, so no spoilers for End uh, uh, Avengers Endgame, so I'm not gonna spoil it here. The way that we pass down our knowledge, the way we as, especially like me and uh, it's so, it's so fantastic. Like me is getting older is experiencing too is that like you want to pass your knowledge, your, the things that you're learning in your life and like not even like wisdom, but just, just your stories in general how passing this down because it's so awesome like the first second third and fourth like we mainly follow like well we follow different characters throughout actually all the four short stories the the topic in the circle of isaac is so fantastic because isaac um essentially is the main person and it's like this web of just stories going from there uh, and just i love that it's stories that my like my grandma told me or like my parents themselves just tell me like me passing it down to my yell just like uh, like just i just love that aspect this like family and while not even they're technically family because a lot of the main characters here aren't even like talking about their own family like like next to kin type of family but this familial bond that i I, I, I oh, it was so fantastic, um, but yeah, overall, I, I really, really liked it, and I would, I would definitely seek out more things um, by Faulkner. So, if you read the short stories or any Faulkner in general, let me know. Give me some recommendations. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. At the end of these reviews, I always let y'all know the next um, collection that I'm reading, and that's Sour Heart by Jenny Zhang. May is Asian Pacific Heri Asian Pacific Island Heritage Month, and so I was like. Uh, let's go. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.